What's going on guys, I'm Alexandra Don, and today I'm going to take you behind the scenes on how I shot a TV commercial. So here it is. Și cum te vezi peste 8 ani? Mă văd bine. Bine. Mai întreb. Împlinim 8 ani de când te facem să vezi bine. Sărbătorim cu reduceri de până la 80% la toate categoriile de produse. Descoperă-le în magazine și pe lensa.ro te vezi bine. Te vezi bine cu reduceri de până la 80% de 8 ani cu lensa. So, I think that turned out pretty awesome and I'm really curious what's your opinion about it. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked it or not. To be honest, I really really love how the image turned out. The skin tones and the colors look on point. I really love the setup that we did and all that. And therefore, we're going to go behind the scenes and show you how we shot this, what was my camera setup, what lenses did I use, what lighting setup, and all that. But before we continue, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, and uh, leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future or what type of content you want me to produce next. So let's go behind the scenes and check it out. So we're gonna start with my camera setup, which was Zcam E2 F6, which is a full frame 6K camera. And I shot everything at 6K 40 frames per second in H265 compression. And my lenses of choice were DZO Vespit Primes, which are beyond full frame lenses. And I really love them. They have an amazing quality and amazing characteristics. I mostly used a 35 lens, a 75 and a 50 millimeter lens. That's everything I needed, but I have the full set and I will be doing a review very soon. To be able to cope with the high amount of light that I needed to shoot this commercial, I used the Forza 500, Forza 300, my mix panel 150 and every non-light lights that I have because I wanted to shoot this at a higher aperture in order to get everyone in focus since we were shooting with a lot of people in the shots so for the first scene that we shot we wanted to go for something a little bit more moody just to spice things up and give this commercial a little bit of contrast and as you see we shot this whole commercial in this beautiful new studio from Bucharest which is D studio they have this infinity wall and one thing that I realized is that it's pretty hard to get a moody vibe into a infinity wall so we used this um, top material in order to block a little bit the light so we don't have spill in the background. And overall, I think the image turned out pretty good. Here you see me giving some instructions to our models, uh, which were really easy to work with. Usually people tend to get freaked out when they don't work with actors, but uh, for me, it's very easy to work even with normal people. I think if you give, the, give them the right instruction, they will follow. And it's not that hard to get some reactions out of normal people or, or models or anyone out there. So um, everyone was really easy to work with. I was very happy about that. So therefore, I can focus on my lighting. Uh, sound and other things that concern about me. Um, here you see me changing my lenses because I wanted to have a tighter shot and a more wider shot. So here I'm putting the 75 for a little bit of a tighter shot. And one thing with these lenses is that they really have a nice skin rendition. They make the skin very soft, although very sharp. I don't know exactly how to translate that, but uh, the skin looks very beautiful when you film with these lenses. You don't have to go inside the post-processing software and uh, soften the skin out because these lenses already do that. So this is a big bonus if you want to film faces with these lenses. Um, for audio, I used um, the Sony Smart Lab system and uh, I shot everything wirelessly. So I didn't have cables or anything like that, which was very helpful. Even though I didn't use the audio from there because there was a lot of reverb, I recorded the audio again uh, back home and it was really, really good. We move to our next scene where things get a little bit more poppy and colorful. And here you see me giving a little bit of instruction to our model on how I want the shot to look like. 
uh, she got the idea pretty fast and it was really easy to um, translate into video what I had in mind. Uh, the thing was that um, the agency that brought all those people did an amazing job. Everyone was so nice to work with. Everyone was so uh, happy and really, really um, easy to work with. So um, I tried a bit of um, handheld shots just to give a little bit of more dynamic into my image, but um, I kept on going back to tripod, going back and forth between handheld and tripod because our first few shots, I wanted to be a little bit more stable and only after the major breakout of the commercial, I wanted to give a more dynamic um, feel to the image. On this lighting setup, uh, it was very hard to not get my reflection into his glasses because he had uh, these glasses that reflect everything around it. So that's why we put this white diffusion in front. So. I'm not visible into his glasses. So one thing that you should take in mind whenever you work with glasses is that you need top light because top light is very important because if you put top light, you're gonna kind of remove all of your lighting sources bouncing out of the glasses. And for the next setup, this one was the most difficult because we had a lot of actors in shot, a lot of glasses, and I didn't want to have lighting reflection on the glasses. So we chose to use a really big four by four full CDO diffusion, which was kind of hard to light him since it was a full CDO. Um, not a lot of light go was going through it. So I had to use uh, two Forza 500s and the panels and every light that I have in order to get to the amount of light that I wanted. I personally would have went for a half CTO maybe that would have been much better, but it was a really good choice because I didn't have any lighting reflection into our actor, actor's eyes. Here you see me giving some instructions to the models and explaining how I want the shots to be like. Um, I wanted the shots to have a lot of dynamic input and a lot of happiness and uh, just a lot of movement. So because I wanted to transmit a lot of um, energy. So here we begin to start recording and we had only a few um, confettis. So uh, we had to be on point every time. So. We kind of did this a couple of times. Um, I filmed this in 48 frames per second. And I think it's one of the best slow-mo settings you can use because it's a very good mix between too much slow-mo and not so much slow-mo. So I think it's a good balance. And I overall think we had a lot of fun. These shots were freestyle, were um, just having fun trying to get different type of uh, scenarios and as you can see I didn't change the lighting so this is one of the things that I want I like to do whenever I'm shooting a commercial or anything like that I like to make my lighting good from the start and make them make the lighting good from any angle and by doing this you're saving so much time in production you're able to be more creative because you're not thinking constantly about changing the light putting the light here and there and and so you can become faster and more creative one thing that i really loved was these top shots i think they turned out pretty great with everyone so much color so much vibrance uh, with the confetti on the ground with everyone smiling and being happy we even brought a letter so i can have a higher angle and um overall i think it those shots were absolutely amazing one of my favorite shots that i shot that day i think we're gonna wrap things up here um i'm really happy that i got to shoot this commercial for lensa for their eight years anniversary and uh they trusted my vision and things went amazingly good. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure to follow me on Instagram and until next time, leave me a comment down below what kind of video you wanna see next. And with all this being said, I'm out, peace.
is shook and I can relate to the way she moves. So come on into my habitat. We can meet up anywhere you choose. Anytime we can interact, I'll be down with that to connect to you. We got, we got, we got a good. We got, we got, we got a good, good, good connection. Connection